Here we are back at our circuit simulator. I'm going to pull out the pieces I need to make the two circuits in question. <coughs> okay, so here is one of our two circuits. We have out of the battery into a single bulb out of that single bulb into two bulbs in parallel, out of the two bulbs in parallel, and then back into the battery. So the single bulb there would be bulb A and the other two are B and C. The comparison circuit is similar, out of the battery into a bulb, out of the bulb into another light bulb, but also to something that is an open. So I'm going to represent that open just with wires. The open and the second bulb connect together. And as you can see, no current flows through the portion up here where there isn't a bulb. Right? And you have your answer already, but let's just look at it. In the analysis we did, we said bulb A glows the brightest, and then these two, and then the two in parallel. Right? We said that the current in this circuit overall, so the current produced by the battery, had to be bigger for this circuit than it was for the other. This circuit produces 0.6 amps this circuit produces 0.45. All 0.6 goes through this bulb, so it has to be the brightest. 0.45 go through each of these, so they are the second brightest. And then 0.3 is going to go through each of these, so 0.6 comes out of the battery, 0.3 goes to the top bulb, 0.3 goes to the bottom bulb. They reconnect at the third bulb and come back in, if you will. If we look at it from a voltage standpoint, pull my voltmeter back out. Each battery produces 9 volts. This light bulb uses 6, which means this one has only 3 left to it. If we think about going around, 9 volts is supplied, 6 is used by this, 3 by this one, and I can get back to my battery, or 6 by this, and 3 by this one, and I can get back to my battery. Over here we have the 9 volt battery and each bulb is going to use 4.5 volts for a total of 9 volts around the loop. Okay. 